I did this video is in response to a request I received in a comment on one of my other videos on my channel to look into the Inalite signal head. So I'm just going to give it a brief overview. I'm not going to get into any of the deep details of it. I have a video already on my channel regarding the uh, programming and software for the signal light manager. So I'm not going to get into that in this video. As you can see, it's got a green through arrow. Uh, it's also got a yellow through arrow and then a red ball. So looking at the front of the signal, you, it may appear like it's flickering from angles. That is because the uh, LED array inside is dimming. So the video uh, is capturing it as a flicker. But in, in person, as I'm looking at it right now, there's no flickering that I can see uh, visually. It's a programmable signal. So that means you can set it so that it can be viewed. Uh, kind of like the 3M head. Uh, the red section in here. The, so the sections, the way they are uh, set up is the, the, the door itself is one piece molded part. So there's no lens in the front. This is part of the door. It's one big transparent part. And then behind the door, there is uh, a backing that fits in with the, with the inner lens to keep the... Uh, door opaque except for the dome this is basically called the dome and then the little window up here for the ambient IR sensor that's up here so so basically the door is completely clear um, Inalight did not provide visors for the signal the visors that came with mine are McCain visors and then obviously if you're looking at the signal on the street or a similar one like this on the street. It's very noticeable because it's got large aluminum heat sinks on the back of the signal to uh, keep the electronics cool inside. So to produce the arrows, basically there's, like I said, there's an inner lens and then the dome on the outside. Between the inner lens and the dome, there's a plastic mask. You can see the mask, uh, kind of shape and shadows when the light's off. So I'll go ahead and open up one of the sections and we'll dive into the inside. So here's the inside of the Inalight head. You can see here's a, a good view of the side profile of the door. You've got a, a deep recess here between the lens and the dome and then the visor. The inner lens here, you can see that the arrow is actually behind the lens, like I mentioned in, in the first part of the video. Uh, this has got like a Fresnel pattern on it to spread the light out. And then this uh, part here, this black component is removable along with the lens. So this whole, whole frame can come right out. And then you'll see the door behind it is uh, actually completely clear. You can see that where the cutout is for the window that mates up with the sensor. And, uh, and then the lens kind of sits inside there. Here's the interior. Each section looks basically the same except that the terminal block for this signal is in the, in the middle section. So you've got a few boards here that operate everything. On the left, you have a power filter board, the circuit board. Uh, takes in the incoming 110 volt or 120 volt power and converts it to 48 volt DC power. So these signals can operate on 110 or 48 DC. If it operates on 48 DC, this board would be eliminated and you would have just this circuit board on this side. So that's the job of this board is to convert the power down. This board is called the controller board. Its uh, function is to uh, basically run the run the section so you can see all the all these wires are plugging into a harness on the board correspond to all the different there's the led array on corresponds to all the different uh, sub circuits on the esb uh, array the led array so you this board records all of the uh the current state of the of the array as well as any um, temperature time it covers a lot of different things. Uh, duration that the light is on, uh, what aspect the light is, uh, as far as red, yellow, green, 
that's all captured in this board. It also records any failures uh, in a local alarm bank that can be pulled from the, the uh, light manager software. So it does quite a bit uh, compared to an average traffic signal. So just looking up at the circuit board, uh, just to put point out a few things, light manager can be plugged in with this uh, serial port here, this four pin serial port, or you can use the wireless version. Uh, this little, little uh, switch here with a little triangle on it is corresponding to the light array. So this switch position corresponds to yellow. If I was to change that switch position, uh, the light would either stay on or it wouldn't go on, depending on what position I'm putting it in. Um, but if it stays on, light manager will think if I switch it to, for example, switch position two, I'm just saying it arbitrarily, if it's in three, I'm not sure exactly what position it's in. I can't really read it. But let's say I switch it to switch position three and that's the position for green. Well, then light manager will think that this light array is actually green and not yellow. Um... So you don't need to mess in with a, that at all. And then there's an IR sensor just below that uh, switch that's aiming towards the light array. That, uh, that sensor is to monitor the LED array to make sure it's within spec. Um, if it goes out of spec, then an alarm can be sent to light manager that says, hey, your, uh, your array is, is faulty or it's failing. So... That's basically it. Up at the top, like I mentioned, that's your IR sensor for ambient. So if the daylight outside is, uh, if it's bright outside, daylight, the light will be brighter. If it's at night, it'll dim the LED array so it's not so bright during, night, during the night. Um, that's about it for the controller board. Everything's fused. It's got a two amp slow blow, slow blow fuse on both sides of the circuit board, or both boards, I should say. Uh, the LED array inside has a little panel down here that can be removed. Basically, it's just blocking the harness that plugs in and then all the resistors underneath the array. So, you can see it says uh, in the light uh, 9 by 20. That's the amount of LEDs that are on the board, LED array, and then it's the yellow uh, color. And then this signal has two terminal blocks. It's got a terminal block at the top, which all the connections go to, and then a common bus down here that all well, the common wires are connected to so that only one common wire is, is hooked up at the top. So That's the inner light head inside and outside a little bit of a look-see into it. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed and that this request uh, was fulfilled.